Hey guys, Dirty here for CineCam.net and welcome back to Copycat Friday. Today I'm Spider-Man, so without further ado, let's get swinging. Today we are recreating the Spider-Man swing inspired by Josh VFX. But before we can do anything, we first need to do some testing with this 360 camera and more specifically the Insta360 ONE X2. Let's do some testing. Now, you're probably wondering why we're using a 360 camera, and there's actually two big reasons for it. The first one being that it's a small and compact camera, which we can easily put on a stick and swing around in the air. The second reason is that since it's a 360 camera, we can pan and tilt in post-production, making the whole shoot way easier. We already made our test effect, and we know there's two big things you need to pay attention to, which I'll show you, of course, right upstairs. <laughs> no Timo, I mean upstairs like upstairs behind my desk. And the first thing is shutter speed. We're shooting a part of the effect where our arms are swinging around in front of a green screen. We're doing big fast movements which means a lot of motion blur. And as you probably know motion blur and green screens are not the best friends. So crank up that shutter speed. And the second thing is that we're going to use a bigger stick. That's what she said. <laughs> this will allow us to make way bigger movements making the effect more realistic. We're gonna shoot everything today on the Insta360 ONE X2. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Now, in general, 360 cameras are just super fun to have to make social media videos, but also there are many applications for VFX. Now, the ONE X2 in general is a very good 360 camera. It features a 5.7K resolution sensor, giving you more possibilities to reframe in post-production. It comes with some really cool features, such as flow state stabilization, which we'll see in a moment how that is going to help us. Basically, it's going to stabilize your footage, but I haven't seen any camera doing it better. It has a touchscreen display right here, which allows you to change any setting of the camera. You can also use their app to change any settings, record, etc. And you can find many accessories for this camera as well, such as the invisible selfie stick. The Insta360 app comes with a ton of AI editing features, such as deep track, out of frame, and so much more. So guys, I can highly recommend you get one of these 360 cameras as well, and more particular, the Insta360 ONE X2. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description down below, so definitely check that out. And now, let's go shooting. So guys, yesterday was the big day, I got married, that's right, and I actually wear my test television suit and I made it in the newspaper with that. <laughs> I feel like a man today. That's our boss. Oh yeah, before we can start shooting, what shots do we need? Well, we need multiple shots. First, let your talent vlog and on the end, let them do the web shooting motion while jumping. The second shot will be our swinging shot. Mount the camera on a large pole and make these arch movements while walking forward. Really try to recreate the motion of swinging and flying through the air. So this means you will go slower when reaching the highest point and will accelerate when going down. Then for the landing, give your talent a 360 camera and let them jump and fake the landing. Nothing more. Last, we need some green Green screen shots. Film your arms and legs separately in front of a green screen. With your arms you can do a web shooting motion and with your legs just swing around. Tip here, film these green screen shots in the same location and with the same camera. This will make everything match better in post production. When you go shoot on locations, you really don't want to bring too much gear. And that's exactly where the Insta360 app comes in. With our app, you can simply edit your videos on the go for social media, or in our case, test and review our VFX shots. In our case, we can simply keyframe the movement of our camera to see if the effect will work. Or you can use SnapWizard, a recent feature they have. With this, you can simply record the movement of your phone and that will automatically keyframe the video for you, making it super easy for us to know if the VFX shot actually works. People are watching again. 
we have our 360 footage and let's add that to our composition. However, we are getting this weird looking footage like our 360 footage is folded open. This is because we are going to need to use a plugin to translate our footage to a normal 4K 16x9 resolution. And this plugin is called GoPro FX Reframe. It's completely free and you can find the link to it in the description down below. So we added the Reframe plugin and adjusted the projection to 4K 16x9. And with the pan, tilt and rotate we can frame our camera. Like you can see we can use the full 360 degrees around our camera, giving us a lot of advantages. For example creating a fake camera wipe, which we also use to transition from our vlog part of the sketch to the actual swinging part. We just animated the pan to whip away and added motion blur. That's it. Now for the swinging effect, we of course already have a movement in our shot. The one we did while shooting. But while this motion is already good, we are going to need to keyframe the camera a bit more. In the effect control panel, we enable the animation for the pan and the tilt. Now we start animating. The current motion we have is going to be our indication where we need to animate the camera. When the camera is close to the ground, we are going to animate the camera tilting upwards. And then when we are at our highest point, the camera can tilt back down. And with doing this, we are actually creating arches with our camera like you can see on this beautiful motion graphic. Of course, very important, smoothen the keyframes and once done you will have this cool swinging motion background. And then it's time for the arms, legs and webbing. We have our green screen arm and leg shots. So the first thing we'll be doing is green keying them. Or in our case blue keying them. Now, why the blue screen? Well, Jordi was wearing something green and green on green isn't going to work that great. If your arms or legs are going off the screen, you could always use the rotoscope tool. And voila, your arms are now single out. Now we can start placing them in our timeline. And very important, they need the right timing. Because the arms are going to be the selling point of our Spider-Man swing. We are going to sing our arm gesture of pulling the web with the motion of going down. This will give the illusion of Jordy hanging and swinging from a web. Of course we're going to do this for every drop. Now, an extra detail is going to be the legs, which we will be placing on just before the movement upwards is ending. So again, key them out and sing them on the right spot in the timeline. And look at that, we have a cool swinging motion. Now for the web shooting, we already did a dedicated tutorial for that. So if you want to know how to do that, we will leave a link in the description down below. But in short, we used the puppet pin tool to pin the web to our wrist and animate it towards the corner of our screen, creating a shooting motion. Or you can check out our pals from Production Crate, they have super cool web shooting assets and much more. Now one last thing, the transition from swinging to landing. Again, we sync the timing of the two clips. And to hide the cut, we animated a heavy tilt movement on both shots. The motion blur will now hide everything. Do some color grading and sound effects and voila, you are done. Let's get swinging. <laughs> wow, and that is how you can swing like Spider-Man, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Insta360, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left, guys, for more.